No more bread or no more cheese for the rest of your life. Oh, that's a really tough one. I have this conversation with people, honestly, all the time. Um, I'm a vegetarian, so cheese is a big part of my life. I love cheese. Bread, I don't know if I could live without naan though. Indian food and naan bread are like my favorite meal. I think I would have to say, there's just too many good categories of cheese. So I think I'd have to say no more bread for the rest of my life. But then you could never take me to Italy ever again. Because it would not be fair. Oh, this is an easy one. No more gin or no more whiskey for the rest of your life. Sorry, Jen. Sorry, Jen. If you were reborn, what decade would you want to be born in? That's a really good question. I am such an avid history buff, and ancient history is one of my favorite categories. Although my mom always told me if I was born in any other decade than this one, I probably would have been burned at the stake for witchcraft. Or like a Joan of Arc kind of character, because I don't really put up with the patriarchy even now. So uh, probably I would say like ancient Egypt, I would love to see. I just, I think that era, Cleopatra, Mark Antony, like I'm obsessed with that history, so I'd love to see it. Might not live long, but it'd be worth it. What's something that only you know about yourself that no one would guess? I mean, yeah, the funny fact that I, I speak Danish, which is such an obscure language and that not a lot of people know. I've only ever really used it to get out of trouble with the cops. Shh, don't tell my mom. The smell of which alcohol reminds you of that night you almost died. I love this because actually when I was about 14, we managed to get a bottle of tequila and one of the girls drank too much. And my dad picked me up from the party and I thought he'd be really mad. He's like, you know what? Everyone's got to have a blood curling tequila story. You got yours out of the way early. So probably tequila. Though I love tequila now, I'm, I'm over it. I'm good. Or raspberry vodka. That, yeah. That was that one. Now, now that I think about it, that was not good. What's the silliest thing you did as a teenager? Raspberry vodka. That's probably the silliest thing I did as a teenager. <laughs> What's your worst party story slash accident? I think my favorite party story is probably when I was 17, I had just returned from Denmark. And my girlfriend who I, was, who I met over there was also living close by. So her and I uh, had fake IDs and we decided to give them a try. So we were walking towards the bar area where all the college kids hung out and we're walking down the street and of course we had our Carlsbergs that we were drinking and a cop came out of nowhere and tried to give us a ticket for drinking in public. So I thought on the spot and turned to my girlfriend and said, follow my lead and started speaking to her in Danish and the cops immediately thought we were foreign and let us off with a warning and just let us go on with our night. So 